Hello and welcome to Play PKN, the weekly video bulletin of the top news stories on PKN Packaging News, Australia's media hub for the packaging industry. I'm PKN's publisher, Lindy Hewson, and this week's episode is brought to you by Ball & Doggett, Australia's largest distributor of printable materials for packaging and the creator of the Ecoporium by Ball & Doggett platform. In our lead story today, the proposed 11 billion US dollar acquisition of Westrock by Smurfit Kappa has been given the go-ahead by the European Union's merger regulator and will now see the creation of a 34 billion US dollars a year business. The deal will create the world's biggest paper and packaging company with some 100,000 employees at the combined group, which will operate 500 converting operations and 67 mills, producing 23 million tonnes of board annually. Both companies are active in the ANZ region. The European Commission concluded that the notified transaction would not raise competition concerns given the company's limited combined market position resulting from the proposed transaction. The deal is expected to complete by the end of the current quarter. Next up, Australian B Corp and sustainable packaging company Biopack has acquired Australian-based reusable cup enterprise Husky in a move to strengthen circular solutions. The new deal marks a significant partnership and alignment that is set to fast-track and strengthen both Biopack and Husky's shared vision towards a circular economy and a world without waste. Gary Smith, CEO of Biopack, said this partnership opens the door to an array of exciting new circular solution reusable products and services that will be seamlessly integrated into Biopack's offering, enabling the company to better serve its expanding global customer base. Husky will continue to operate with the same team, with the new ownership accelerating the expansion and release of new products. Then on to Visi, which has achieved an average of 63% recycled glass in its packaging across Australia and New Zealand in this financial year to date, a 5% increase compared to the 2023 financial year. According to the company, the figure is even higher for recycled colour glass, um, coloured glass, which is amber and green glass, and that is at 75% on average across Visi's operations again in this financial year to date. Investments underway in New South Wales and Queensland, which include a $500 million glass recycling facility and manufacturing facility in Yatala, south of Brisbane, will see Visi further increase the recycled content in glass containers over coming years. Well done, Visi. Then to the latest development in the ongoing Pact Group saga, the case brought by opponents of Rafael Gaminda's bid to take full control of Pact has been rejected by the takeovers panel following undertakings given by Gaminda investment vehicle Benamon. The decision by the panel not to proceed with an investigation into Gaminda's approaches to remaining packed shareholders means that he is now free to pursue further share acquisitions. He currently owns just over 87% of the company, which is tantalizingly close to the 90% he needs to be able to obtain the rest of the shares through compulsory acquisition. Gaminda has been aiming to acquire 100% of PACT since September last year. Over to Aurora next, whose Jarbot reusable packaging system has been named the winner in the overall packaging system category at the Sustainable Packaging Coalition Innovator Awards for 2024, which was held in the United States on the 5th of April. The Jarbot is a hybrid between a jar and a bottle for FMCG and other consumer-focused products, and it's a reuse-optimized packaging system that can be shared by a multitude of brands to, a, to store a wide range of products. It has been designed to solve fundamental problems faced by consumer packaged goods brands and retailers when scaling their reusable packaging initiatives. And well done to Aurora. Then, with just over two weeks to go until the entry deadline for the first PKN Women in Packaging Awards program, this year's judges, industry leaders and experts in their respective fields are sharpening their pencils in anticipation of the challenging task of evaluating the depth of talent across women in our industry. This year's judges just announced are Nerida Kelton, Executive Director of the Australian Institute of Packaging, Sandra Dalmasso, the Head of Packaging Transformation at the Australian Packaging Covenant Organisation, Roseanne Jessup, the MD of Pills Australia New Zealand and a Board Director of the Australian Packaging and Processing Machinery Association, that's APMA, Louise Wien, the CEO of National Association of Women in Operations, or NAWO, Bronwyn Voice, the founder and CEO of Civic Futures Lab, Ninki Mushinger, Managing Director of Brand Opus, Margaret Stewart, Director of Corporate Affairs and Sustainability at Nestle Oceania, and Dr. Nicole Garifano, Head of Circular Economy Development at Planet Arc Environmental Organization. 
foundation rather. And finally, PKN's latest issue for 2024 is out. It's hitting, hitting desks. It includes our comprehensive review of Apex 2024, as well as the latest developments in labels and labeling, sustainability, food and beverage packaging and design. And we also preview the upcoming mega expo for packaging print Grouper. Well, that is all from me for this week. For more on these and other stories, do head over to our website, packagingnews.com.au. Thank you, as ever, for watching.